guys and welcome back to my Girls Guide 2 series. Now I thought it's about time that I showed you what I actually drive on a daily. So behind me I've got my 595 Comp a bath and I'm going to show you exactly why I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> character it's unreal like I never thought I would drive a Fiat 500 it's not really my style of car it's very small it's dinky it's cute but believe me the 595 come a bath is just a little whirlwind it's a little pocket rocket you know when you think of hot hatches there's some great examples out there that you can pick from you know and budget range the you know you could get a Fiesta SD or you could go and get, I don't know, like a Megane RS. This, for how much I pay for it, gives me more enjoyment and laughs than anything I've driven for a long while, which is why I ended up investing in one. Like, just listen to it! It's ridiculous! Now, it's not the most comfortable of rides, so it's quite stiff. I've also put lowering springs on it, so it's even a little bit more compromised. But you would think when you've got such a harsh ride that you would have like quite a bit of adjustability. But unfortunately, because you can't turn the traction control off, the car never really rotates enough for you to catch it and then put some interesting moves down. But this car, I mean, it wants to turn. It loves it. It just wants to be driven. And it's got so much, so many noises and you can just, uh, oh car originally is the 1.4 four cylinder 16 valve turbocharged which they run out of the box 180 brakes that's like 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds this is now running 210 brakes I've had it remapped when I had all of the work done at Forge and it is just rapid it's just over a thousand kilos so you can imagine how light that is and putting that power down is interesting it likes to torque steer it likes to kind of just do what it wants to do but that's all part of the fun you're in it for the ride you strap in and you are along for the ride with this thing very kindly uh, worked with me on this because they wanted to test out having performance brakes on a road car because they do obviously track ready brake pads and discs um, but these are actually more performance focused but they are for the road they do squeak a little bit which is a bit annoying when you're in town but everyone knows that when you buy up upgraded brakes you are going to get that little like squeaky noise that comes with it but obviously, because it's a race car, it doesn't matter. There you go, there she is. Oh, better get slow, we're in the village. There's nothing more that I enjoy than taking this car out on a weekend and just going for a little bit of a drive in it. If you're ever feeling a bit sad, or you know, you've got some time on your hands, go for a drive in one of these and you'll just get out of the car laughing your head off. I'm a great believer in driving should still be should still be fun. I find these days some of the cars I drive they're so sterile, you know, because it's all being done for you and it's kind of the, the drive is so assisted. Whereas this, you get back, you get into the driving seat and you're immediately in a little go kart. And the, the great thing about hot hatches is, is you're not going fast enough to really get yourself into trouble, but you're driving the car on the edge and that adrenaline rush comes from being somewhere near that edge 
and that's what I enjoy more than anything. It just really lights me up when I drive it. As you can see, I'm smiling like an idiot. Anyway, people just go past me like, what on earth is wrong with her? Well, my friends, it's called a 595 a bus. So Forge have had this car for a little while, and as I mentioned earlier, they have used it as a prototype uh, for the 595 Abarth bits that you can now buy off the shelf. So it's got the cold air induction kit on it, it's got a big front mount intercooler, it's got the actuator, that wonderful dump valve that I so enjoy, and it's got a custom oil cooler, which has been fitted in the OEM position where the old one is. So the car is now ready for a lovely little decap as well because they've mapped it very kindly for me so it's got a custom map on it which now produces that wonderful 210 bhp of pure driving pleasure i think i can't really stress to you how much that i do enjoy this car but one but i won't completely say that it's the best car in the world because there are a few things that do kind of wind me up you can't turn the traction control off in it now it does, want to, it does want to rotate a tiny bit, but if it even started to understeer, like it's, it just it saves you. And it, I don't know, I like to be able to actually drive myself out of a problem, then the car try and save me itself. That's the one thing. So when I take it on track days, it's a bit of a nightmare because you know, with the steering input and throttle input, you can be going around a hairpin and it's just like, it's just a bit dead because you don't have that freedom to, you know, really, put the gas down when you need to uh other thing the steering wheel kind of sucks because it's too it's too podgy around the middle i couldn't think of the word then but it's a little bit too beefy around here so when you're trying when you're driving like you, you want to get a good steering wheel um grip in there but this bit's almost like a bit too big so you can't fully grip it as hard as you wanted to um it's a little bit <laughs> It can be a little bit clunky with the infotainment, but again, this is not why I bought the car. You know, if I want to go listen to music, I'll listen to it in my E21. And they still insist on having the 500, like, bit on the dashboard there, which I, I, don't, I don't, this isn't a 500 to me. This is not a cute little runaround. This is a baby rhino with all the power and all the noises. It sort of snorts and I don't even know. I can't explain it if I was like trying to talk about this car. It is a little, I call it baby rhino because it's just snorting at you and then it's running, you know, it's running around sort of <laughs> doing this. Like people have said to me, when you come, when this comes flying up to you in your rear view mirror, you're like, what is that? And it's just like stampeding up. What is, what is it that rhinos do? Rhinos charge, don't they? That is exactly what this car does. It charges at you. Yeah. Like it is. Can you hear the pop as well and the bang of like on the upshift? Like it's just got so much character and charisma. It's like the car version of me. Except, I don't know, maybe not. This is like a size 8, I'm a size 12. <laughs> uh, does it want to understand? See what I mean? It's just not. And also, I do need to get that turned off. Whenever you get a little bit hard on the brakes, it just starts doing the old... That. Basically, for how much money I spent on it, it is an absolute Christmas cracker. I love it. That's why I bought it. <laughs> watching make sure you stay subscribed for some more videos in my girls guide to you series and i'll catch you guys again soon